The Total Reward Survey, in fact, is a unique collaboration between four partners, being Flary Business School, together with three media partners, being The Standard in Flanders, La Libre Belgique in Wallonië, and NRC Handelsblad in the Netherlands. The other unique element of the study is that it focuses on total rewards, being cash, salary, bonuses, employee benefits, as well as the non-financial rewards. Now, if we jump to the conclusions, if we jump to the main findings, then first of all, we see that uh, as far as cash is concerned, um, employees are quite satisfied with the level of their pay and their bonuses. However, they are much less satisfied with what we call procedural justice, being the way in which salaries, bonuses are determined and also the transparency related to that whole issue. Secondly, if we take a look at the benefits, we see that employees are in general quite satisfied with the benefits, but they are much less satisfied with the extent to which these benefits are adapted to their personal situation and personal needs, which means that they are demanding towards cafeteria plans. If we then jump to the third element being the non-financials, there we see that there are two main points of attention being in fact, first of all, the satisfaction with the development culture, uh, the ability to follow trainings, formation and so on, but also the general culture of uh, development in a firm. And the next element regarding those non-financials is that employees are not satisfied with the way decisions are being taken and also the extent to which they were able to participate in that whole decision making. So th this is regarding satisfaction. If we then jump to the the, 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 the importance of each of these elements, we see that financial rewards, cash and benefits, are not that important as a driver for work engagement. Much more important are the non-financial benefits. And within these non-financial benefits, it is mainly non-financial rewards, it is mainly about, um, in fact, the challenge that people have, the challenge and the responsibilities, that, that is what makes people motivate uh, truly, and also the pride in the employer and the reputation of the firm in the market externally. So these are very important uh, issues. If we take a look at what determines intention to leave, there we have in general the same picture, although financial elements become a little bit more important. And we see that also the relationship with the supervisor and the coaching by the supervisor um, and also in fact the development opportunities become more important. So this is what the preferences uh, and, and, and the importance of these elements concerns.